Hello YouTube and welcome to another route learning video. On today's video we're going to be taking just a short journey along the Glasgow Airport rail link route. The scenario that we're going to be using is called early shift at Glasgow Central and it comes with the route. And so we're currently parked up just outside Glasgow Central station going to need to drive into Glasgow Central to couple up to another train in there before coming out and driving to the airport calling at all stations. So our stops will be Cardinald, Hillington East, Hillington West, Paisley Gilmore Street and finally Glasgow Airport. The journey from the junction just after Paisley to Glasgow Airport is actually fictional because that route actually was never built even though it was planned it never got completed and as you can see it's pretty dark so we're doing a very early morning service um, thankfully there's a bit of snow on the ground which should help us to see a little better on this nighttime journey our attraction for the journey is a class 380 which is operated by Scott Rail the Class 380 is part of the Desiro family of electric multiple units. Constructed between 2009 and 2011, there is a total of 38 of these trains which were built, with three or four cars per train. They've been in service since the 8th of December 2010, and they were manufactured by Siemens in Germany. The maximum speed of these trains is 100 miles per hour. Once in the cab of the Class 380, there's not an awful lot that we need to do. The main thing that we need to do first is put the train into forward. And once we're in forward, we're pretty much ready to go. As you saw, the headlights were already switched on. So just to show you down here, we have a combined traction and brake controller. And then we have a computer screen up here on the left. And if you look to the left of the screen, you can see an arrow, which is pointing left, currently towards writing, which, stays, which says Step 3. This is actually showing you what position the combined traction and brake controller is in. So I've just reduced the braking to step 2, and then step 1, and then neutral. And then as I apply power, the arrow will go up into the white zone on there. So it shows you just how much power we're using and how much braking we're using. And then just to the right of that, we have the speedometer, which is pretty self-explanatory. And other than that, I don't think there's any other major controls which we need to look at before we start the journey. Now that we're ready to depart, I'm just going to apply power. And as you can see, the shunt signal ahead with the two white lights is showing clear, which shows that we are cleared to depart from the sidings. And it is also raining a bit, so I'm going to put the wiper on, but then switch it off quickly. Unfortunately, with the Class 380, I do feel that the wiper is just a little too quick. So the starting speed limit here is 20 miles per hour, and we've got just over a quarter of a mile to go until we reach the platform at Glasgow Central. However, you can see that the signal ahead is displaying a red aspect, so I am now slowing down for that. And what we're going to have to do is stop just in front of the signal and request permission to proceed into the platform at Glasgow. We now have the permission to proceed, and you can see that the signal now has two white lights below it, indicating we have what is known as a call-on signal. And this is due to our platform already being occupied by another train, which we're going to be connecting to shortly. So as we've just passed under that signal, the speed limit has now dropped to 15 miles per hour. I have now idled the power at 15 and I'm just going to apply the brakes to slow down a little more so we enter the platform at no faster than around 10 miles per hour. This route does make use of TPWS and at certain platforms if you enter them too quickly it will apply the emergency brakes, especially at the other end of the route when we get to Glasgow Airport Station. I am now braking gently as we're approaching the train just ahead. What I need to do is connect to it at a low speed and then press the buttons Control, Shift and C all at the same time and this will connect our two trains together. I have now pressed Control Shift and C which has coupled the trains together so I'm just going to move the reverser into the neutral position 
and then we will change ends ready to depart for Glasgow Airport. I have now changed ends, so what I need to do is put the reversing handle into the forward position once again and the headlights are already set up correctly, so now we're just waiting to depart. Departing from Glasgow Central, the starting speed limit is 15 miles per hour and we've got around three and three quarter miles to go to our next stop, which is Cardonald. It could also be pronounced Cardonald, I'm not 100% certain, so I don't know if anyone can possibly help me with that in the comments. Now that we're doing 15 miles per hour, I have idled the power to allow the train to coast until we can accelerate further. We will shortly be able to accelerate up to the next speed limit, which is 20 miles per hour. We can accelerate up to 20 miles per hour just as we reach the signal coming up just ahead with the number 4 on it on this right hand curve. So now I'm just going to apply a small amount of power to bring us up to 20 and then idle the power once again to allow the train to coast. The DA that you just saw above the green signal that we just passed indicates that we are cleared onto the down air line. And so we've just turned onto that now. We've got a couple of sharp right hand curves just here and then we will be able to accelerate to the next speed limit which is an increase up to 45 miles per hour. You can now see that we're passing the 45 mile per hour speed board and we, we, we will be able to accelerate to that limit as we see a speed board with a 15 limit on it pointing to the left which is just coming up now. So just after we've passed this board we can now accelerate up to 45 miles per hour. As we're now approaching 45 miles per hour, I'm just idling the power to coast to ensure that we don't break the speed limit. The next speed limit to come up will be an increase to 60 miles per hour. We're just passing the board now and we can accelerate to that just as we pass the next signal just coming up. So now we've reached that signal, I'm going back into full power to accelerate up to 60 miles per hour. Now that we're reaching 60 miles per hour I'm just reducing the power a little. The speed limit has just gone up to 75 and we can accelerate to that at this junction where the lines go left. So I'm now going into full power to accelerate up to 75 miles per hour.
now at 75 miles per hour I've idled the power to allow the train to coast and we've just passed under a long overbridge which indicates that we are getting closer to our stop I have now applied the brakes as we've just passed under a second long overbridge into step 2 and now going up to step 3 as you can see our stop just coming up. So the braking point is just after the second long overbridge that we just passed under. And so we're now coming into our next stop. On start to stop services like this I don't feel so wary about using harder braking. And so we're now stopped at the six car stop sign. Departing from Cardinal, the starting speed limit is 75 miles per hour and we've got around two thirds of a mile to go to the next stop, which is Hillington East. As we reach around 45 miles per hour, which we're doing now, I'm just going to idle the power to allow the train to coast. As we just passed under this signal here, we've now got around a third of a mile to go to our stop. And I'm going to break step two just after this AWS ramp that we're about to pass over, which is silent. Now I'm going to increase the step three braking as we get closer to the platform. We just entered the platform at around 35 miles per hour which seems about right on this route and the stopping point is at the end of the platform you can see the six car stop sign just coming up on the left now I've just reduced the braking just momentarily and now braking once again It seems that due to a bug when starting off the uh, beeping sound which should sound twice is only sounding once for some reason so I did respond twice as you would do in reality. So departing Hillington East the starting speed limit is 75 miles per hour and we've got around two thirds of a mile to go to the next stop which is Hillington West. As we pass under this signal just here we've got just under half a mile to go to our stop. And once again I'm going to idle power as we reach 45 miles per hour, which we have done now. We've just passed a silent AWS ramp again and you can see the platforms just coming up. So I am now braking for our stop. And I've gone into step 2 of braking to bring our speed off. Again, the stopping point here at Hillington West is right at the end of the platform.
Departing from Hillington West, the starting speed limit is 75 miles per hour, and we've got around two and a quarter miles to go to the next stop, which is Paisley Gilmore Street. The speed limit will be dropping down to 65 miles per hour just shortly after the next signal, so I'm not going to allow the train to accelerate above 65 along this section. I have now idled the power at 65 miles per hour to allow the train just to coast along here. The speed limit along here now does jump back up to 75 miles per hour, however we will be very shortly going back down to 65, so there's no point in accelerating along this section. And we will be crossing tracks further in a moment, as you can see just here. The speed limit will shortly be dropping down to 45 miles per hour and so I'm now applying the brakes for the speed reduction down to 45. And so we've just entered the 45 speed zone at just the right speed. I'm now going to allow the train to continue to coast. Paisley Gilmore Street Station is just around this next, well, the corner that we're on now. You can see the platform now coming up, so I'm making a step two brake application to bring our speed off. The six car stop sign here is at the overhead gantry just before the end of the platform. I did unfortunately stop just slightly hard there, but I don't think it matters too much. Departing Paisley Gilmore Street, the starting speed limit is 45 miles per hour and we've got around one and three quarter miles to go to our final stop, which is Glasgow Airport. Although the speed limit here is going up to 60 miles per hour, we won't be able to accelerate to that as we will be shortly slowing down for the junction where we turn on to the airport branch and the speed limit crossing the junction is just 30 miles per hour so the single yellow signal that we just got with the right hand indicator feather indicator is telling us that we are turning off very shortly and in fact we can see the junction just coming up ahead now so i'm just going to break now into step two to try and bring our speed off in time for the 30 mile per hour speed restriction just here The speed limit is now going up to 45 miles per hour and we've started a climb on a gradient as steep as 1 in 68. So in a moment now, 
at this next gantry which I believe is the fourth one since entering the right hand curve and now going into full power to bring our speed up towards 45 miles per hour. As the gradient levels off in a moment I will then idle the power and allow the train to continue to coast as the next speed change will be down to 35 miles per hour at the signal after this one. So from the junction onwards this section of line doesn't actually exist in real life. It was originally proposed to be built, there was originally a proposal for a rail extension to Glasgow Airport, but unfortunately it never was actually built in reality. We've now entered the 35 mile per hour speed zone, as you probably saw just before then I did apply the brakes to bring our speed off. On this sharp right hand curve here the speed limit will be dropping further to 25 miles per hour and I do now have the brakes in step 1 to bring our speed off and in a moment I'm now stepping up to step 2 as you can see the 25 mile per hour speed board just here. I have now released the brakes to allow the train to coast. The next signal with the single yellow aspect and the number 1 above it is indicated that we are cleared into Glasgow Airport Station Platform 1. This is a station where TPWS is active so we've got to be careful what speed we enter the platform and for that matter I'm going to try and enter the platform at no faster than 15 miles per hour. We are going downhill just slightly so I did brake slightly more than needed just to try and ensure that we don't break the speed limit just passed over the first TPWS loop and as you can see the emergency brakes haven't been tripped so I believe I've entered at about the right speed. In a moment we'll see the second TPWS loop in the platform and I'm going to try and cross that at no faster than 10 miles per hour to ensure that we don't get a penalty brake application. So I've just applied light step 1 braking to bring our speed down below 10 miles per hour and we're now passing the second TPWS loop. Thank you very much for watching, I know that this has only been a short video, but thank you for watching, I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I will soon be doing the return journey on this route, just to get this route out of the way, because it's not one that I drive often due to the short length and just not enough variety for me. Um, so yes, do stay tuned to this channel, please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this.